Um, I want to commend my colleagues Chuck DeFarrell and Chuck DeDoherty for bringing forward this uh, very important piece of legislation. Sinn Féin were forced to table this amendment to the 2015 Lobbying Act after a recent behaviour by Fine Gael politicians in particular, which has brought to the fore the flaws in the current system. We have witnessed former Junior Finance Minister Brian Hayes walk out of the door of the Department of Finance and in the door of a, a banker's lobbyists. Um, then we saw former Junior Finance Minister Michael Darcy resign from the Shannad to take up a job with the Irish Association of Investment Managers. And there are other examples. This cosy club between politicians and lobbyists is something most people are rightly uncomfortable with. But it's a revolving door that Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil have sought to keep open over the years. Golfgate during the summer again highlighted Thank the you. problem. Ireland is a small place. A former minister, now a banking lobbyist, mingling with current ministers, senators, a commissioner and a Supreme Court judge at a private knees-up event. It stunk of the rotten politics of the past and reminded people of the problems that still exist and that need to be challenged and that need to be changed. There is a clear need for a defined separation between the two to ensure former ministers cannot trade on former insider knowledge to their own benefit or to the benefit of the lobbying organisation, but at the cost of the general public. This bill would implement 13 recommendations made by SIPO to the Government in 2019. It will increase the cooling off period that ministers, junior ministers, special advisers and high-ranking civil servants must wait before moving from office to the lobbying sector and will allow SIPO to investigate and sanctions, sanction breaches of this. It would also give SIPO the power to investigate and sanction a person or body that avoids their obligations under the Act, for example by destroying records, emails or text messages. You would really have to question why anyone would object to these provisions. SIPO have called for legislative changes since 2016 to increase their investigative and sanctioning powers, to broaden the scope of the Act and to tighten up certain definitions. We need immediate action to close the revolving door between politics and vested interests. The politics of the Golden Circle, the politics of the Nod and the Wink, the politics of who you know, not what you know, needs to stop now. And this bill will go some way towards doing that. Gormagath.